Hello, my name is Dr. Daisy Smith, and I'm a practicing general internist who works in the education division at the American College of Physicians. I'm pleased to introduce a free new resource from the ACP that's intended to help you learn what you can do to eliminate unnecessary healthcare spending while simultaneously improving patient outcomes. Healthcare is on track to consume 20% of our gross domestic product by the year 2020. And this amount of spending is unsustainable. It threatens our economy and leaves us less money to pay for things like education, public safety, and infrastructure. In addition, per capita health expenditures are steadily increasing, and this leaves some patients in the stressful and difficult situation of choosing between rent and food and following our recommendations. $765 billion of this healthcare spending annually has been identified as waste, and unnecessary services, often ordered by physicians like you and me, comprise $210 billion of this waste. Despite our overspending, we have the lowest life expectancy of 21 developed nations. What's the solution? We need to be sure we are getting value for every dollar spent on healthcare in this country by delivering high value care. High value care is care that balances clinical benefit with cost and harms with the ultimate goal of improving patient outcomes. This represents a major paradigm shift in this country where we believe more care is better care and shifting to the idea that high value individualized care is better care. High value care combines principles of evidence-based medicine and patient-centered care in a simple stepwise framework. This is a framework for delivering high value care. Step one, understand the benefits, harms, and relative costs of interventions that you're considering. Step two, decrease or eliminate the use of interventions that provide no benefits and or may be harmful to the patient. Step three, choose interventions and care settings that maximize benefits, minimize harms, and reduce costs. Step four is customize or individualize your care plan with the patient in a way that incorporates their values and addresses their concerns. Step five, identify system level opportunities to improve outcomes, minimize harms, and reduce healthcare waste. Why is it the responsibility of physicians to help fix this healthcare problem? Well, we're the ones who are responsible for ordering many of the unnecessary tests and treatments that are currently contributing to the waste. We have the knowledge, skills, and training to solve this problem, combined with the desire to do whatever it takes to improve patient outcomes. Instead of listing barriers and pointing the finger at other specialties, let's focus on what each of us can do individually to help fix the problem. So what is the program? Well, the program consists of online cases based on real patients and their hospital bills and outcomes. Your job is to answer the questions associated with the cases and read the critiques to obtain free CME credit. Each topic is approximately 30 to 60 minutes long and can be completed on your desktop, laptop, tablet, or even your mobile phone. Each topic contains take-home tools and patient education materials that help you incorporate the principles into your daily practice of medicine. So how do you get started? After watching this video, proceed to the program homepage, which lists the five topics that are covered in this program. Click on the title of topic one and you will be presented with your first case. Read the case and answer the associated questions. Then carefully review the critique. And as you do this, be sure to open up the accompanying tables, figures, audio and video files by clicking on linked words in order to have a complete multimedia experience. Each topic contains several cases and a total of eight multiple choice questions with associated critiques. Once you've completed a topic, you can download the take home tools that are associated with the topics. And these are designed to help you incorporate the high value care principles into your practice. You'll be notified once you have completed a topic. Review your results to the right hand side of the screen to see if you qualify for CME. 
If you do not qualify for CME, you can clear your answers and take the quiz again. There's no limit to the number of times you can take the quiz. Click on the word Submit for CME to obtain your certificate for each topic that you've completed. Thanks for watching this video and for your interest in high value care. We welcome your feedback about the cases, the questions, and the take home tools. Feel free to share your high value care challenges and successes with us here at the ACP. And thanks again for your valuable time.